Human trafficking is the second largest and fastest growing criminal industry in the U.S. Missouri is ranked in the top 20 in the country for the number of reported cases. Tonight in this special report, ABC 17's Taylor Petras digs into how prevalent, dangerous, and easy it is to find people being sold for sex right here in mid-Missouri. In Missouri, more than 350 sex trafficking reports have been called into the national hotline since 2012. The internet is now making it easier than ever for criminals to advertise their victims and sell them for sex. It's happening not just in the big cities like St. Louis and Kansas City, but in Columbia and Jefferson City too. Tonight, a sex trafficking survivor is sharing her story for the first time. I'm terrified of hotel rooms, you know, I was drugged to those places on numerous occasions and thrown in there, you know, go in there with a smile on your face and make him happy. And Robin Fleming says her first husband forced her to dance in hotel rooms and strip clubs. Texas, Oklahoma, Florida, Missouri, Illinois, Kansas, everywhere. It all started right here in Columbia. I had to come home with at least $1,500 to $2,000 a night. I wasn't allowed to come home unless I had that much money. And continued for five years. It was like being a fiend, knowing that when I get home, if I didn't have that much, what was going to happen to me? If you didn't come home with that much money? Uh, the meetings. There's a demand to purchase sex, and there has been for a very long time. But the FBI just began tracking sex trafficking crimes four years ago. Right now, there's not a lot of concrete data out there, but here's what I did dig up. In 2015, Missouri was ranked 15th in the country for the number of reported human trafficking crimes to the national hotline. That may be because it's one of the few states with the most agencies reporting it. That same year, the St. Louis Police Department investigated 15 sex trafficking cases that involved more than 100 victims. We need to be aware that social media has quickly become um, a, an avenue for, for traffickers. That's where Detective Tracy Perkins and the Boone County Cyber Crimes Unit comes in. Perkins says they're constantly monitoring social media apps and sites like Craigslist and Backpage. We see the talk, we see the lingo, we see the ads, and we'll see that people will say, you know, in the, um, the escort side, that they'll be here for, you know, two days in Columbia and then they're out. For some mid-Missouri cities like the Lake of the Ozarks, these online ads for sex spike in the summer. A police detective said that it's really unusual for a weekend not to go by without finding a couple of women just obviously intoxicated, but just left abandoned. When they check the credentials of the woman, it often leads back to somebody who looks like a trafficker. We have a very, very serious problem. Missouri lawmakers are bringing human trafficking to the top of their legislative priorities. This year, several bills have been filed, everything from creating posters with the human trafficking hotline number to increasing the penalties for traffickers. Or why it would be a problem if you accurately reported the number of ads you were seeing where children were for sale. In Washington, D.C., Missouri Senator Claire McCaskill is leading the fight against online sex trafficking. A lengthy investigation has forced Backpage.com to shut down its adult section after allegedly knowing that children were being advertised and sold for sex. After consultation with counsel, I decline to answer your question based on the rights provided by the Fifth and First Amendments. It's scary to think that that's how easy it is. Robin says she was finally able to escape from her husband after he beat her in public and was arrested. And he always told me, if you leave, I'll kill you, I'll kill your family, and I believe these things. She wants her story to bring awareness to a very dangerous issue. The hardest thing is knowing that there's help out there because society doesn't see us as a victim a lot of times. The Boone County Cyber Crimes Unit has only investigated two cases of online sex trafficking in the past decade. Those men were both sentenced in federal court. I'm told the Columbia and Jefferson City Police Departments don't keep track of sex trafficking cases. They say their investigations, if any, haven't had enough sufficient information to report it to the FBI.